play Tank Reed in Nightfall and I'm here with Seresh.tv at Portugal Comic Con. Thank you for meeting us in this great Seresh.tv person. Yesterday we had a chance here to watch the uh, pilot of Nightfall yeah. and we enjoyed it very much. No, it's very yeah. promising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we were, it's, it's safe to assume that the plot will be about the quest for the Grail? The plot uh, strongly involves the quest for the Grail, uh, so that's our fantasy element in the middle of the story, surrounded by real historical figures and real history. I mean, you know, it's about the Knights Templar in the last 15 years of their organisation leading up to their fall, hence the title Nightfall. And uh, the actual history is extraordinary, and we blended that with our own, you know, dramatic. Um, invented storyline as well, so the, the, the two things run at the same time. Yeah. And as you are aware, uh, there are many different interpretations of what the world may be. Some say sure. it's a person, an, an ideal. You can uh, say a little bit about uh, Mount Night for well, a little bit. I don't know if I should. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it represents power. And it, at the time, everybody had this unshakable <coughs> belief and faith. So that what the Grail represents is what people believe, really. But it's it's a totem in our show, and people seek it for what it represents and its power. Because in actuality, at the time, you know, relics were venerated as having actual supernatural power. So whether they did or not, that's up to the viewer to decide. But you know, it's it's a symbol of power and mystery in our show, and it will reveal secrets that you don't necessarily expect. Um, and in a lot of other TV shows, you part or part of like uh, Tomorrow People, the mean part of this. Yeah. Your character was a villain. Was that a personal choice? It's because I go around thinking villain, 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 villain <laughs> to myself. No, I don't know why. I mean, Crassus was not a villain to me. I know that he was perceived as that in the suit, but when I was playing him, I wasn't thinking that I'm a bad man who enjoys being evil. I was just doing my duty and uh, uh, making myself more powerful at the same time. So it was a dual thing. But um, certainly in the Tomorrow People, I think, yes, that was a villain. The character was a villain. <laughs> he was a villain. Um, in Dominion also, he's uh, flawed, but that was so much fun to play as well, that character. Very rock and roll. <laughs> so another thing you might not be able to tell us is that your uh, character for Creed um, seems to have a very summer thought. Will you be walking the more villainous path, or will we just like a big brother to the planet? I can't give too much away, but I can say that there are major surprises in store for all of our characters, and um, <coughs> actions are committed by our characters that you will not see coming, and Tancred is certainly one of those. Uh, speaking a little bit about Vikings, I know they already talked a little bit about it in the panel, yeah. but um, the public seem very, very, very visible to shows that recreate yes. real events. Yes. Do you think Nightfall will be much appreciated? I very much hope so. We loved making it. We felt that we had a mood and a flavour and a vibe that was ours. It wasn't trying to be another show. Obviously it's comparable because we are set at a certain time, we are wearing armour, we have, there are swords, but you know, I think we have our own style and mood to Nightfall that I hope that people will attach to and love for itself as well. But you know, those other shows are magnificent as well, the Mark Vikings is a great show, a great success. We, we hope that people take the night forward the same way. You, besides the night forward, you already that in Spartacus or uh, a recreation of these uh, things of history. Yeah. Uh, what is it like for you to prepare for these books? Uh, it's just a joy because I get to like research a period that I don't necessarily know a lot about, to immerse myself in it, and uh, just to learn more and have a head full of knowledge. And um, I mean, with with a lot of things, it's a very simple key. Like I read a lot, I read a lot about this period, and I read a lot about the Roman period. And for Crassus, it was like the bust of Crassus was very important to me. The bust that was made of him, and I saw this man's face, and I just thought of the character from that bust. And also, there are many tombs 
with the knights with their legs crossed because they fought in the Holy Land. And you see these effigies of these knights and you read about them and their lives were so extraordinary. They were such extraordinary men that um, you just hope that you do some justice when you play the character like that. And explore your characters when you're playing a character that exists or in the fictional ones. Well, or? you only have the script at the end of the day. I mean, Tancred in Nightfall is not an actual figure. He's named after an actual figure. Um, but it's open to you to, you, you get the script and you discern, you create your character from the story you're given. And then you think of your backstory, you think about where the character came from, even if it's not shown in the show. Um, but I, I love that we're in a real historical context. I, I really like that. I know you already spoke that you were a lot of time recording with your part of Lightning of Tomorrow. You usually sit around and watch Lightning of Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. And, but was it a little bit challenging since you were, you were used to be this part of this series and then you were doing it for Julius? Well, I, I didn't play it for laughs, but the comedy, if there was any, I talked to Dominic about it, is that the comedy came out of the fact that he's absolutely serious in those scenarios. He's been captured by this large, bald man for the future. And uh, he's wondering how he's going to get out of this situation. You know, and the comedy comes from that he is Julius Caesar, that he's not making a joke out of it, you know. So it was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun doing that show. Yeah, I've done a couple since then. I, I, I did the Legends thing and I, I did a, a guest role on uh, 12 Monkeys, the series on sci-fi, which will be out uh, next year. And uh, I'm, I'm doing a, a, a small recurring role uh, to fill in time before we go back to Nightfall, season two, um, on Good Omens, the new Neil Gaiman uh, series. Um, so I've been having fun. I just drop in and do it in different locations. It's an extraordinary script and story and cast and that. So uh, yeah, I'm just uh, ticking over, doing stuff like that really. Thank you very much. You're welcome.